everybody and welcome back to the last edition of the waiver wave of the season and while it is a very bittersweet event it's going to be sweet when you win your fantasy championship with the help of me your host Tim Petropoulos let's get started right off the bat with our first waiver wire pickup and that's Jaguars receiver Keelan Cole the big thing about Keelan Cole was that he didn't get the opportunities he was more of a big play threat well, Marquise Lee is out for the remainder of the regular season at least, which means Cole gets the big time targets. Last game, he went absolutely ape shit with Blake Bortles at the helm, and next week he should do the exact same thing. After Marquise Lee left the game, he took over with seven catches on nine targets and a touchdown for well over 170 yards and now he gets san francisco who was very susceptible in the past game keelan cole is the number one waiver wire pickup of the week for me another guy i'm looking at is nick Foles at quarterback now if you lost carson wentz you probably went with someone like jimmy g or blake bortles which is great but if you're looking for someone now, Nick Foles, his replacement, could be just the guy you're looking for. When Nick Foles was at his absolute best, he was running run pass option. The Eagles run more run pass options than anyone in the league. This is an offense designed to help Nick Foles, and he had four touchdowns in his first game in that offense. Nick Foles is an excellent play at quarterback if you're in need. And finally, my last guy is Eric Ebron. Just when I was ready to throw in the towel on Ebron completely, he goes and gets 18 catches in his last two games. In one of the games, he had 94 yards. In the other game, he had a touchdown. And guess what? He plays Cincinnati next week, who has obviously completely quit on this season. With the Lions still in a playoff race and needing every single win they can get, Eric Ebron is a really good pickup at tight end if you can get him. The other guys I'm looking at are about 50% owned, but watch out for them in the waiver wires in your league. The waiver wires are a little more beefy than usual because teams are dropping guys so they can pick up third quarterbacks and fifth defenses to block their opponents. If they're weird in your league, these two guys may be the guys. Martavis Bryant. One of the biggest busts of the fantasy season could come back and help you win a championship. Antonio Brown went down, and that sucks for a lot of people, including myself. But even without Brown out, Martavis Bryant was more involved in the offense as the year went on. He has not seen less than six receptions since week 11, and with Antonio Brown out, that should go up. Another guy I really like that might be on your waiver wire is Randall Cobb. Everyone wanted to talk about how Jordy Nelson was going to bounce back with A-Rod back under center. Well, it was really Randall Cobb who got most of the uptick in terms of production. He was targeted 14 times and caught 7 passes. With Devontae Adams likely to miss the next game because of a concussion, Randall Cobb is an excellent play. As a bonus, keep your eye on these guys who are taking the place of injured or non-performing starters. Eli Rogers in the Pittsburgh wide receiver core. Kendall Wright, who is the number one receiver now in Chicago and who's been seeing an uptick in targets. Geronimo Allison, another wide receiver in Green Bay. And with Rex Burkhead out, Mike Gillisley might be a good play because you know they're not going to stop running at the goal line. In fact, James White might even be a good play, although the role of Rex Burkhead more fits Mike Gillisley. For more on these players and every player that's fantasy relevant, check out the Brodo Fantasy Podcast. Also, this Sunday, December 24th, we are bringing you to Championship Week all the way to kickoff with a live stream starting at 10 a.m. Check the Twitter at Veterans Minimum for all the details. We're going to be coming to you live. Check that out. It starts at 10 a.m. Come spend your Christmas Eve morning with us as we prepare you for the fantasy playoffs. And last but not least, thank you everyone who joined me this season. Thank you to my Wave Riders who rode the wave all the way to championship game. And please share, subscribe, do whatever you can to support Veterans Minimum. And with that, it's been fun. I give you the wave. You just gotta ride it.
Oh, Dean, they're canon right now. <laughs> <laughs>